Hey guys, I got a new tool that is specifically for Mac users and for people that want to make their videos better. So this tool can enhance videos, they can make the videos better in resolution, they can make them sharper, they can basically do anything to make videos better in quality. So it's actually an all-in-one AI tool to make videos better. It can also increase the FPS to 120 or 240. So if you make videos and you're not happy with the quality that you got, you can try out this tool and see if you get better quality on your videos. I'm gonna show you how it works, so let's dive into it. The tool that I'm going to use is called MacX Video AI, and here we are at the starting screen. You can see we can do image AI and video AI. In image AI, we can upscale images, restore faces, and colorize photos up to 4K with advanced AI models. In video AI, we can leverage well-trained AI model to enhance video to 4K, remove blur, noise, and compression artifacts. And that is exactly what we're gonna do now. So let's click on video AI, and here we can import our video. On the right side, we have the settings of the video. Let's first import our video. I got this example video, and this video is 1280 by 720p. So that means that this is a pretty small video. Let's make the screen bigger so we can see this better. Now on the left side, you can see this is the original video. On the right side, this is the new video that this software made. Now let's go to the settings here. I'm gonna select CPU and GPU for processing. Then we have de-interlacing. And if you have those white lights on your videos, you can put it to on or auto to get rid of those. Then we have super resolution. So if you wanna create a higher resolution video, just click on super resolution and select an AI model. You can select from two AI models and the easiest way to pick one is to just click on it, see the results and also read the description here for what it's used for. Now I'm gonna go for high quality mode because I want to have the best possible quality. If you just wanna have a quick export, you can do fast mode. Then we have the skill and here we can basically upscale our video. We can also just select a resolution. So if you want, let's say a 4K video from a 720p, just click on resolution and click on 4K and now we have a 4K video. You can also just enhance the video without doing any upscaling. But let's do 4K, I wanna have a 4K video of this. Then we have frame interpolation, then here you can change the FPS of a video. So if you wanna have more frames in your video, you can select frame interpolation and it's gonna add those extra frames to your video. Now I don't need this for this video, so I'm gonna disable this for now. Then we have the export settings here, and here we can select from the video codec, I'm gonna go for H.264, the quality level, I will keep it high. Then we have the GOP, this is basically the group of pictures. In simple terms, that is the distance between two keyframes. I'm gonna leave it as it is, and I'm just gonna run this. Let me put this on my desktop. Now let me zoom in here a bit, so you can actually see the difference here, what it made. I'm gonna go for Gen Detail V3. I think this will generate even better results. Look at that. Let's go for run and now it's gonna export our video. All right, the video is done with exporting. Now let's go back to the starting screen. And I wanna do image AI also so you can see how that works. So let's click on image AI and here we're gonna import our image. Let's use this photo. This is a pretty small photo. It's like 495 pixels. So that's pretty small. Let me put it here so you can see this better. So this is the original size. You can see if I make this bigger, it's pretty low quality. Now let me make this screen bigger so we can see this better. And let's zoom in on this photo. And you can already see the difference it made. Then we go to the settings and the settings are pretty much the same. You can select from CPU and GPU again. You can select the interlacing and you can increase the resolution. So let's do 4X and look at that, look at the difference it made. Now we can also restore faces by using face restoration. Let's try it out because we can clearly see we have a face in this photo and let's see if it makes this face better. And look at that, look at the quality. Let me zoom in here so we can really see this better. So on the left side, you see the original photo. On the right side, we see the new photo. We can also go to the settings of the face restoration and we can try out different settings. 
if you got a black and white photo you can also colorize it using this option here now let's go to the export settings and here we can select the export settings for our image we can select from png and jpeg we can also select the level so let's increase this all the way to nine and the dpi we can change here to let's say 300 and let's just export this and see the results of our video and image now here you can see the before and after of the video on the left side is the original video and on the right side is the 4k video and look how great the quality got just by doing a little bit of steps in the software exporting them and that's it here you can see the image on the left side is the original image and on the right side is the new one that i just created so if you are a mac user and you want to try out this software check the link in the description there you can find the link to this software and give it a try and see if you can make better images or videos with this tool so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one